Hello and welcome to July Pickups, both DVD, Blu-ray, with a brand new format here that I'm going to be trying. Um, essentially, you'll see I got two stacks, DVDs, Blu-rays, and I'm just going to go through them that way. Yes, some of them have packaging still, some of them won't, but we'll see how this goes. It is one way. We'll start with DVDs. So, obviously, I could have bought some of these DVDs with these Blu-rays and such, but, you know, whatever. So first off, because uh, I just had to, at twelve eighty eight, yes, twelve eighty eight for a DVD, Tooth Fairy, Root of Evil. I mean, look at that. Does that not scream like, yeah, you gotta buy it? Because it did for me. I mean, the back, maybe not so much, but that, that cover, yeah, I had to get that slip. I just had to. Again, for twelve eighty, I couldn't remember if I had picked this up yet or not, but I grabbed it dark water. Um, I think these are, yes, these are both ITN releases, so whatever. And then finally, this was 35 bucks from Walmart. Hey Arnold, the complete collection. This includes the movies as well, so um, it's a complete TV series, two movies, and a whole bunch of bonus content, and it was only 35 bucks. and I mean, it's, it's a huge pack. It's well worth the money. Had to get it as soon as I saw it. Grabbed it. Onto the Blu-rays. Onto the Blu-rays. First up, this was $15. Uh, it's called Inheritance. Some secrets can't be buried. Um, I don't know. Looks like a low-budget little thing, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to grab it all the same. And this sucker was 44 This is 44 but this is anime. And I've seen... <laughs> I could stream it. I could stream it and it'd be fine, but this is set one of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, if you know anything about it, comment down below. I don't know anything about this anime, but I hear a lot of stuff about it. So came out, it was 44 It is a little pricey, but $44 gets me approximately 624 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's like at least three movies. So... 15 bucks a movie. I'm perfectly cool with that. Now this one I paid a lot for and I probably shouldn't have, but Blood Quantum paid $23, which is way over my standard Blu-ray price. Um, but this is a, a native, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if it's American or I'm thinking it's native, Cana native Canadians who put this together. So yes, we got some tribe I don't know if it's a tribe who put it together or friends who put it together or if they did went through the whole regular stuff and just hired people um, but as far as I know this is um, yeah there aren't many so it says it's from the Mi'kmaq reserve of Red Crow so I'm guessing they are the people who were involved in making the film probably um, but yeah, you don't get too much horror in that vein made by the, you know, natives. So I had to get on that right away. And that and the slipcover looks pretty sweet. Um, at 20 bucks, I picked up Sailor Moon the movie. Yes, some more anime. Um, why? Because, hey, it's Sailor Moon, man. It's classic. Don't question it. It is what it is. And I bought it. Jeez. Next up, Welgo. Normally my $15 go-to's. I'm almost guaranteed to get awesome movies for a great price. Fortunately, they seem to be at the $18, $19 price point now. And you'd hope maybe a dollar increase would be okay. $1.50, but nah. I still had to jump on it. Enter the Fat Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie Yen. Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is kind of a spoof on, um, I don't know if it's martial arts films in general or Bruce Lee or what, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I'm not even going to justify that buying that. I'm not. Next up are the four titles from the, I guess, the June horror pack. First off, Insidious. Oh, this is all backwards. I wonder why. I wonder why this is looking right. Why is this 
spines all the wrong way. Uh, then the Priest Legion dual double pack. The limited edition of Cruel Will. And the Belco Experiment. If you want to know more about what our thoughts about that particular horror pack, go check it out. It is called the June 2020, or Horror Pack June 2020. The video is there's a whole playlist of horror pack stuff. Get on it. Next are a couple of things that I picked up from a uh, Dollarama. Don't get too much stuff from Dollarama these days. They, they don't seem to restock their movies very much. Um, the only time they tend to get anything in um, is Halloween sometimes and Christmas. And then when those holidays finish and they pack away all that stuff sometimes they get rolled into their little movie music section but and video game section but more often than not they just they don't they, most of them like they're trying to get rid of it almost it seems but whatever every now and then you pop into one and you find stuff so I got uh, for three dollars outpost rise of the Spetsnaz I'm pretty sure I have it already but for three dollars whatever grab another one this one I don't think I have I don't think I've even seen the first one but it's FUBAR 2 um, it's not really my thing but whatever it is what it is uh, the next up was a purchase this was from somebody on um, online a Canadian uh, New Blood Entertainment presents Horrorathon Volume 1. Now this is a whole bunch of... Uh, it's a first installment uh, of a series of uh, short films. Now this is Burn on Demand. Um, you, can, you can see on the back here, it's, <laughs> it's not cut the best, but there, there's all the, the films that are on it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I love checking out short films, so grab that now. Oddly enough, there's a bunch of butcher shop things that were included with this, so I don't know. And it does have a UPC on the on the package, so I don't know what, but uh, oh, it is. It was sent by Carlos Enriquez from the butcher shop. There you go. That's who put it together. And then the July horror pack is right here, which included <laughs> Insidious Chapter 3. So I don't know why they didn't go to Chapter 2. You know, they could have done Insidious Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and then the next one they did Chapter 3. But it does did come with the 4K release of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which is awesome. And then the limited edition release of Chris Lamartina's Witch's Brew. And St. Agatha. So, yeah, nothing wrong with that there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, next up, uh, I think this was at Walmart. I could believe it. I'm pretty sure it was at Walmart. Was it at Walmart? I think it was Walmart. Um, for $15. I, hadn't, I haven't seen it yet. Figured I'd pick up Venom because it had the slipcover. Why not? I don't know if this was released in 3D in theaters or if it was even released in 3D on disc, but whatever. It is what it is. Now, I picked this sucker up here. Um, this was a little pricey, but it is a uh, HBO series, and by reading it, I was like, yes, this is, this is definitely something that I should get. I didn't even know it was being produced or anything like that, but this is based off of the best-selling Stephen King novel, it's The Outsider. Yes, it's a series, uh, HBO series, and it's right up Leslie's alley, so I had to grab it. Of course, it came in DVD or Blu-ray. The Blu-ray was only, like, 3 or $4 more than the DVD, so, yeah, uh, no-brainer. Why, why wouldn't you just go with the Blu-ray, right? Now, again, from WellGo... Not at the $15 price point, but had to get it. Honestly, I saw this come up on the WellGo. I think it was WellGo's Facebook page or something like that. And I was like, saw the ad and I was like, I didn't, I haven't seen that yet. Maybe it, is it coming out this week or not? And then, of course, I go to Walmart and there it is. So 
Godala. I think this is like a superhero, an Asian martial arts superhero uh, type thing. It's based off of a, a comic book. Based off of the classic comic book Gundala. I don't know Gundala. Um, oh, this is Indonesian by the looks of it. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, oh, it's written and directed by Yoko Anwar. Okay, yeah, that's this is this is a must buy. I haven't even seen it yet, but I know it's a must buy. Yoko Anwar does amazing stuff. And then finally, uh, for July. Uh, priced at fifteen dollars. Uh, I saw it, had the slipcover. Haven't seen the film yet. Don't know if it came out in three D in theaters, let alone if it had a three D release after that fact. But I figured, you know what, I gotta get me some Terminator Dark Fate. Yes, have not seen that Terminator movie. I didn't see it in theaters. I wanted to, but I didn't get around to seeing it. Um, now, oddly enough, many of these 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 titles here, I could watch them for free, streaming including Terminator and, like I said, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But, if you watch this channel at all, or maybe this is your first time here, physical media. It's the way to go. Um, now, our internet services is pretty solid, um, but there are times when we cannot, uh, you know, when we're streaming stuff and either Netflix goes down or Amazon Prime goes down or who knows, maybe eventually um, we may not be able to afford those services. Uh, and if that ever happens, guess what? I've got thousands of movies to watch. And I'm not just talking about, you know thousands of movies I've already watched to watch. I'm talking about thousands of movies I've never watched yet. And then thousands of movies I have watched before, but I haven't watched my copy of it yet. Honestly, the beautiful thing about collecting this kind of stuff is not only do you get a great you know, library of awesome physical media, but you get to watch these movies whenever you want without any worry of having, you know, a streaming service go down or for that title to be removed from that streaming service. So, yeah, there you go, July pickups. And, uh, yeah, we will be doing kind of this format uh, for, I guess, maybe six months or so, and then I will try what I think is going to be the last format uh, to show you, and then we will... You know, let you vote, I guess, and you tell me what you think, uh, what you enjoy the most. Um, I, I do know that these pickup videos are some of my most popular videos, even though I don't have a lot of subscribers, so I do want to make sure that I am appeasing you, the masses, all five of you or so. So, yeah, comment down below if you picked up any of the same stuff, if you enjoyed any of these films, if you've seen any of these films. Keep everything spoiler-free, but I do love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Until next video, take care. Have a good one.